Hello and welcome to Cheatham's Library, Manchester's first library and the oldest public library in the country. Here's one of our contributions to the excitement that is Manchester's first festival of libraries. Don't forget to check out more from the festival website and look out for the hashtag Festival of Libraries. Today we're staying local and hearing from Jennifer Reed, the Langley Linnet and the preeminent broadside balladress of the Manchester region. Jen is going to take us through three of the hundreds of cheaply produced street ballads sold by two and four Manchester's working people in the 1860s and 70s that have made their way into Cheatham's collections. Printed on the cheapest paper by the cheapest methods, they were bought by street sellers for a halfpenny and sold for a penny. Of what must have been millions printed, most perished. We'll say more about how to see these collections online at the end. Let's get straight to the artist and hear from Jen. So the Axon and the Holt ballads are two ballad collections that you can find in Chets. Um, they are, well specifically this Holt collection is uh, from around about the 1870s, um, collected by private collector, so again we're at their mercy of what they were interested in. Um, they're cheap street literature, so that means that they are written and printed by people that aren't necessarily the best writers and printers. So in this Are You Vaccinated one, um, I've got four different types of spelling of vaccination by the fourth verse, which is very awkward when I'm trying to sing it off the cuff. But I think my favourite one is vacciate, which sounds a bit like a Italian word, vecinate. Um, vecinase, that's like vecinase, what you put up your nose. Um, but again, yeah, it's, the, it's literally the title of the song and they still haven't got it right, which shows how fast that they were they were printing it up. Ever since Dr Jenner introduced the use of cowpox to protect people from deadly smallpox, vaccination aroused both mockery and opposition. A severe outbreak of smallpox in 1870-71 to 71 led to increased legal compulsion both to vaccinate infants and to get adults re-vaccinated. Public opinion fought back and anti-vaxxers had their say. Right, so this one is in the uh, Axon collection of ballads, it's also in this one, but I didn't want to do them all from the book. Um, so Are You Vaccinated? Can't not do it in the current times. Um, again, like a, like a ballad always does, it doesn't say for or against anything, it just kind of gets more and more ridiculous. So by the fifth verse we're talking about donkeys being um, vaccinated, by the seventh verse we're talking about vaccinating ladies on their bum. So very Victorian humour. Could it be funny today? Yeah, I suppose. But no, we like this one, it's all right. I have some words about the times. If you like a bit of a chaff, I'll do me best to please you all and try to make you laugh. Go where you will by day and night, right throughout the nation. The people dreadly so it said. This double revaccination. Now I should like to know me boys if vaccination's right. For the doctors say unto this day it's a very cutting sight. The people about it cannot agree it's causing a botheration. Between you and me I cannot see the use of vaccination. Now they'll vaccinate the soldiers, they'll vaccinate the sailors, they'll vaccinate the tinkers and they'll vaccinate the tailors. In fact, they'll vaccinate you all right throughout the nation. They'll vaccinate the devil himself. Won't that cause a great sensation? They'll vaccinate the ladies, their chignons and Grecian bend. It's so hard to sing that bit. They'll vaccinate that lump, you know, that's on the latter end. They'll vaccinate your mutton. They'll vaccinate your clothes. They'll vaccinate Billy, what's his name? Right upon his nose. Now one and all take my advice after what I've stated. Be sure you run tomorrow morning and be revaccinated. So now I think we will wind up for my song is nearly done. In every word that I have sung, I hope you're taking fun. 
Yes, yeah, so a lot of the ballads don't come with tunes um, printed at the top. Some of the sometimes they do come with the name of a tune, but the name of that tune has long since fallen out of any kind of record. So again, they are a bit oral tradition in that respect. Um, a lot of the time I use uh, English dance tunes, tunes like the Miller of the Day, uh, On the Banks of the Day, just kind of basic, easy going, four line verse, um, tunes that can be adapted. Um, sometimes I'll sing a song in the style of, a, of another ballad to keep it in that tradition. So I sang um, Are You Vaccinated, which is a semi-serious, silly song, um, in the tune of Very New Loom, which again itself is a kind of raunchy, silly song. So it shows that it's in keeping um, in that kind of tradition. But that's just what I do to keep it fresh in my mind. Um, but again, yeah, just usually by reading through and how the song is structured, you can, you're usually singing the tune to it by the fourth verse, just in your head, just even if it's a nursery rhyme. So one of the ballads in the collection is called A Lift on the Way. Um, and I know this as a Lancashire dialect song by Edwin Waff of Rochdale. So I thought I'd sing the dialect one because ballads have a way of making like taking all the nice good dialect out and just making it plain English and it kind of loses its flavour. Come what's the use of fratching lads this life's none so long so if you gather round I'll try me under to song it may show a guiding glimmer to some wanderer astray or happily give some poor out soul a lift on the way It's very sludgy and dree And money worn out limper lays him down there today Then floundering low in gutter He looks round with dismay To see a mountain world can give A lift on the way A lift on the way A lift on the way To see a mountain world can give A lift on the way there's some folk at Muntrudget and there's some folk at May Ride, but ne'er mortal man can tell what chance may be tied. Today he may be blossoming like roses in May, tomorrow he may be begging for a lift on the way, a lift on the way, a lift. Jog on me normal comrades, and then so mought it be That on and on we travel till the day we mun be And now to end me ditty lads, let's heartily pray That ever may give us every one A lift on the way, a lift on the way, a lift So I got interested in ballads. Um, I came in for a visit one day um, and I met Michael Powell, the then librarian, and he already had an interest in 19th century print. Um, I didn't have a clue about that. I just worked in Old Bargains in Perry. Um, so he just said, do you want to have a look at some of these ballads and you can digitise them and we can put them up on um, our online collection. So I was like, yep, that sounds cool. I started looking at them and I found places and names that I knew, so Oldham Street, that's in the Northern Quarter, or um, like Bury and Bolton and like Blackburn and places like that. And I just got really excited that these ballads were literally talking about places that I have been to in the past week. Um, so again, this is a public collection. You can come in and have a look at stuff that interests you. And then you might just find a whole freaky career out of it like I did. 
Yeah, so when I started looking at these ballads, our first person that came in to look at them was Jeremy Della, who'd recently won the Turner Prize and he was doing an exhibition in Manchester and he wanted some of these ballads to go into it because it was a bit about the Industrial Revolution. Um, so me and Kathy picked 70 ballads out and he ended up choosing three. Um, I wouldn't say I was fuming, but I was a bit annoyed. So I just said to him, how about I um, sing some of these and give a bit of a talk about them at your Manchester Art Gallery show. I was really scared. Um, but he said, yeah. And from then on, he said, oh, I'm doing the Venice Biennale, do you want to come? So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and he ended up clog dancing and singing some of these at the Venice Biennale. So it just goes to show that they do have relevance in modern times. People are still willing to listen. And it's that kind of street entertainment that I don't think will ever, ever go away. I think humans do enjoy off the cuff entertainment. It's always really fun. So that's why I think the ballads will continue to enjoy and find an audience. By the time our ballad was printed, the cotton famines of the 1860s were over, but for many, it was still hard times. So this one's called, Won't You Tell Us Why England? And this is the Holt Collection of Ballads. You are not what you were, England, why so sad and strange? Prosperity once crowned England, what has made you change? In days of yore, when tyrants ruled in ages dark gone by, we were free from want and famine. Now, won't you tell us why? Won't you tell us why, England? Won't you tell us why? Seventy millions yearly for taxes have to pay. In debt, eight hundred million, the cause is no dismay. A million and a half of paupers daily at our calls. Half a million fellow creatures within our prison walls. Now won't you tell us why, England? Won't you tell us why? Away with all your boasting of your riches and renown. Speak rather of your poverty in this your famous town. Go to the east of London to all the workhouse doors. Read the chronicles of death of your famine stricken poor. Won't you tell us why, England? Won't you tell us why? We keep our foreign prices in extravagance, you loan. Why should the British working man be driven from his home? Rise Britons from your slumber and let your voices ring. Money makes the mayor to go, but labour is the king. Money makes the mayor to go, but labour is the king. That sounded really good, didn't it? Yeah. Is that a bit too, like, political? No, is it? I don't know. We hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the world of the Victorian street ballad. Whether you're interested in coming to Tewton's Library for research or to book onto one of our tours of the building that we'll be restarting soon, the place to start is our website at www.cheatons.org.uk. There are hundreds of ballads and thousands of digitised items to be found there from our From Home pages and from our catalogues. There's a link on the site to help you decide which catalogue you need. You can see records for all the ballads from the Quick Links section of our Books and Printed Items catalogue. To find out more about Jen Reed's music and performances, check out her website at jenniferreed.weebly.com. There'll be more from the festival right through until the night of Sunday the 13th of June, so do go back to the festival website too. I thought that was a take.